Research underway in St. Louis and across the country could help provide a COVID-19 vaccine for children. Current vaccines administered to health care workers have age restrictions. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live with a look at what parents need to know. Jeff? Mandy, tonight we spoke with the chief medical officer here at SSM Health Cardinal Glenn and Children's Hospital. She said it's a very fluid situation. You have a lot going on. You have researchers trying to learn everything they can about the virus while at the same time trying to research a vaccine for kids. We've seen the images of vaccinations beginning. Healthcare workers and nursing home patients among the first to be vaccinated. It's expected to take months before vaccine is readily available to the public and the current vaccine being administered is not approved for kids because there has not yet been enough research. There are trials underway here in St. Louis. There are kids participating um, in vaccine trials right now. Pfizer's vaccine can be used on individuals as young as 16, the youngest age for Moderna's vaccine, 18. The trials that led to emergency use authorization for those vaccines are similar to the trials now taking place on kids as young as 12. The priority here is making sure that uh, the kids who are participating and are receiving the vaccine, are, it, that it's safe for them. The next step is studying kids younger than 12. It's difficult to predict when a vaccine for kids could be approved. According to the CDC, most children with COVID-19 have mild or no symptoms. Some children can get severely ill and in rare cases die. The bottom line for parents, according to Dr. Strand, is they should be vaccinated whenever the opportunity arrives, even if a vaccine is not yet available for their kids. And if you as an adult get the vaccine, then you are less likely to become sick with COVID and you are less likely to, we think, transmit it to your family. And so um, vaccine is what is going to move us through this pandemic. And so everyone who's eligible to get it should be getting it. Dr. Strand emphasizes that even if you are vaccinated, she says it is still important to wear the mask, social distance, keep those hands washed because there is still so much spread in the community. She also says, and we'll talk about this coming up all new at 10, that there is a difference between what doctors are seeing, the way the virus attacks kids and adults. Reporting live from South St. Louis, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.